November 11th, 2058. On that day, all sources of electrical power supply shut down. In one short day of global electrical failure, the world's political and economic structures crumbled, and the entire planet felt a terror it had never known. This was Damnation Monday, the first great panic of the 21st century. 26 years went by. Buenos días, señorita. Range 151 meters. Wind from the northeast. Hey, you can smell the tide. Put a sock in it, will you? Okay, I'll run you through this again. All the personal information Net Justice manages is on their mother computer. They sell that information to use against people. They make criminal arrest records disappear and rewrite personal histories. And not even the best hacker in the world can get in from outside. So I have to go in and destroy it, huh? That's what the client wants. As easy as that, huh? I'll make sure to charge them plenty for this. Good luck. Confirmation. Target moving from 50th to 49th floor. Go after her. I want to see where she dove in. Yes, sir. Hey, welcome back. I'm really glad you're okay. I could kill you right now and not feel any pangs of conscience at all, you know. And I hate the idea of not getting my share of the reward. You owe me big for this one. Hey, come on, take it easy. Even Almighty Senor Sancho makes a mistake once in a while. You were lucky to get out of there. Somebody helped me just before I faded out. Somebody? Who? Did you log it? Of course. Mm. 
Madre de Dios, Cardinal Garrison, and a girl. Psy girls? So the rumor they are investigating the FGC is true. Wait a minute. Are you saying Net Justice is mixed up with the FGC? You didn't know? Net Justice is an FGC subsidiary. What? And you sent me in there without telling me a word about it? <laughs> well... The FGC is the greediest, most monopolistic corporation in the world. Sorry, babe. I was sure you knew all about that. And they said there wouldn't be much security because the FGC is busy in India these days building the space elevator. I really am going to kill you. You know, if Psy Girl is mixed up in this, it has to mean that something big is going on. I wonder why they helped me. I don't understand. Maybe they are scouting you. I mean, you're gorgeous. And you're the world's second best hack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we all know who number one is. But if they were scouting you... Mmm... Looks good, babe. Babe is sexual harassment. Next time you call me that, I'll fill you for the place. like an old movie. We're gonna give you one more chance. Surrender now! I've got all I need. I'll send it on to analysis. Keep her in solitary till they come for her. What? You're just going to load her on me? Do you have any idea how much work it is cleaning up after you all the time? Just don't forget who made it possible for you to buy a house on a civil servant's salary. What are you threatening me? I'm sure there are other perks in this job besides money for someone like you. You know what's going to happen, don't you? All right, ladies. Take this scum to her kennel. I don't know how you got out, but I must say, I'm impressed. My orders are not to kill you. So you're not just some ordinary dog, are you? You've got a foul mouth, don't you? What are you if not some witch who rolls over for the FGC? Shut up! If you'd behaved yourself, I could have been especially sweet to you. Ha! <laughs> you presume upon your beauty, my dear. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure you're very charming, too. To some people. I take a great deal of pleasure in teaching obedience to impertinent young women, you know. <laughs> That's too bad. It's a pleasure it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to give you.
We're here. Hurry up. You don't know who you are, do you? Come on. The answer will come, I promise you. Mistake. I know that, but don't kill her. She's a treasure, a real honest-to-goodness one. This is our core command base. We call it the Ghost Ship. We live here too. This place is an international class secret. Hacking into the Pentagon would be nothing compared to here. I've already done that. There's nothing there. Nobody cares about the President's dirty little secrets anymore. CG members are dispatched from this base all over the world. The members are all experts in one special field. We work either individually or in teams, depending on the operation. Whether it be insertion, investigation, rescue or destruction. All of our operations end with destruction though, for one reason or another. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I'll be on my way before this conversation gets a little bit too complicated. You finally made it, huh? Hurry up and get ready to move out. Huh? A job. Okay, okay. Let's get some things settled. You helped me get out of that prison. I'm the one who helped you when you were fading inside D. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. But what's that got to do with your job? You're a great diver, okay? Raven, explain the mission to her. No, thank you. There's thousands of divers you can call on. We know that. But other divers are nothing but hackers who send a simulated personality program into cyberspace. But you're different. You don't send a simulated personality. You go into cyberspace yourself. You are a true diver. How do you know that? The results of your putting that ability into action are 45 warrants for your arrest in 17 countries. That's quite a record. And wow, if you're arrested in India, you face an immediate death penalty. But still, you helped me, it's true. You saved my life twice and I'm really grateful for that. But now, I must be going. As somebody take this ungrateful person back to Palermo jail. When they add murder and escaping custody to hacking, she'll probably get the electric chair. Are you threatening me? All right, let's calm down and think about this. You owe us and we would like to be paid back. That's a fair trade, isn't it? The hell it is. You're an organization that battles international crime. You can call it a job or whatever you like. It still ends with me getting arrested. That won't happen, I promise you. We will give you weapons, and you can use our vehicles as well. I find that hard to believe. And we pay bonuses. What? You get reward money too? This much, per case. Why didn't you say so?
The uniform looks good on you. So tell me about the mission already. We've lost contact with Dr. Zukovsky. CG can't function without him. We know he's in the ruins of a necropolis in Peru. So what's the problem? He's a brain who protects the world and human wisdom. One of our jobs is to make sure he stays safe. But isn't it a little weird that you've got someone like me doing this? I'm not even a member. When you meet the doctor, he'll tell you all about it. I hope he'll realize I'm on his side. Don't worry, he knows all about you. He does? Okay, we're just about to arrive in Peru. Diving's what you do, isn't it? Contact us when you've made sure the doctor's safe. The data you'll need's all in the com log. So check with that if you need to, okay? There's a good chance that the FGC's already here looking for the Doctor. But for you, this should be a snap. Gee, I'm glad you've got so much confidence in me. told me I was going to have so much FGC company on this trip. Hmm, there's a few more than I thought there'd be. Anyway, don't worry, you should be able to handle that many of them, no problem. That's easy for you to say. be the new diver. Have you finally agreed to join us? I had no idea I was so famous. Rumors spread quickly about a pretty girl, especially when she carries the Marciana gene. Enough of all this chit-chat. Are you coming with me or not? Well, I would rather like to see the sun again. Okay, good. Let's get out of here before they come after us. This is the data I've gathered on these ruins. Could you take it back for me? The map is not complete yet, but it might be of some use. Hey, what are you doing? This is the MFP. You are to be taken into custody by presidential order under the International Historic Preservation Act for violating an international historical site. Don't let him interfere! Shoot that! Young lady. You've got the doctor, haven't you? Let me go. We can't do that. We have orders about what to do with you. You'll be staying here for a while. This is the woman. 
Well, we meet again. You didn't have to go to all this trouble to make it happen. By the way, who are you? Somebody's dog, just like you. But my owner operates on a bigger scale. Maybe it's time you found yourself a new master. Nobody owns me. What are you going to do with me? What we need is you yourself. You still don't understand? Try. It's been a while, X. It was a real surprise to hear FGC hadn't scrapped you yet. But you've sure changed a lot. They really did a good job on you, didn't they? But I guess there's a guy there who likes playing with toys. Thanks to you, I'm a lot stronger now. I'd be happy to tear you into little pieces anytime you like. For an android who can't find anything better than terrorism, you talk a lot. It's better than being a gutless wonder who can't do anything unless he's in a group. When we get back home, you'll be formally arrested and then disposed of. Don't forget your body itself is a secret. Wait a minute. What have you done with the doctor? What are you talking about? You're a Psy girl, aren't you? The Brat Brigade. Get lost! Wait a minute, Sart. What? Has anyone ever told you? You have really bad breath. It looks like the doctor is all right. But I wish he hadn't been taken away by the FGC. It irritates me that the MFP just came waltzing in, too. We've got to do something, and quick. This is turning into a real pain. Who's this guy, X? He is an android prototype originally developed by the MFP to fight terror. A superb fighting machine equipped with self-establishing artificial intelligence. A one-man army. I saw something like that in one of those flat movies from the 20th century. So his whole body is weapons? There is different types of androids these days. It's rare to find one devoted entirely to fighting the way this one is. He's powered by solar batteries, his right arm is a mount for heavy weapons, and there is nothing second-rate about any of his other equipment either. And look at this. The light in his eyes. He's equipped with an eye ground calibration ship too. That's why he can shoot so straight. Anyway, the MFP's got him now, so he shouldn't be a problem anymore. The only strange thing is that the MFP records say he has already been disposed of. Huh?
I guess that about finishes my job here, doesn't it? Oh no, not yet. We've got another job for you. What? You never said anything about that. You still haven't worked off your debt. I can't just keep on risking my life like that. Oh, that's too bad. And here, we wanted you to go to a ball in hot-blooded Spain. I'll go if she won't. The client has specified a blonde American. You will have to wait your turn. It has to be a blonde? What kind of a job is this? Um, just a matter of taste. instructions. I'm to receive information from a CG agent who's infiltrated FGC at their company villa where they're celebrating the foundation of FGC España. That's all I know. FGC monitors the communications environment of all their employees, so we have to go directly to our sources of information. But we usually have a smarter way of doing it than this. Hey. What? Will you tell me the truth? Why won't anyone tell me what this job is really about? Well, Flame said that if we told you, you wouldn't do it. What do you mean? Someone's coming, over and out. You don't have to look for our agent, he'll find you. Hey! Smell nice. I like Oriental woman, but a white woman smells very sweet too. Your scent stimulate my imagination. I think of a woman very spirited and free, natural, spicy, and very sensual. Touch me and I'll hurt you. Oh, don't be like that. Take a shower when this job's over. You smell a bit of sweat. You really do want to die, don't you? Yeah, okay. You pass the test. Another broody minded CG woman like all the rest. And you are? Mr. Pudi. Welcome to Granada. Give me the information. I don't want to waste any more time on you. Whoa, trouble. We'll have to postpone our talk until next time. What happened? What was that explosion? I don't know, and I still don't have what I came for. I'm going after him. Be careful. Hey, that weirdo didn't try anything, did he? I told you that explosion was me getting mad. Oh, you have my sympathy. You? It can't be! Huh. I didn't think there were any ninjas still around in this day and age. And I sure never thought I'd ever meet one! Hold it! You're both on the same side! Fancy meeting you here. I wonder what you're going to do with that data once you've copied it. It's only common sense to have a backup. And there's always the danger of a virus. Look, here it is. Don't move. Why did you take off on me? When there's trouble, 
The most important thing to do is save the data. If I don't have this, I'm out of business. It's none of my business what you're going to do or where you're going to go. The only thing is that I can't go back empty-handed. Well, I'm starting to think it was time I started to plan my life like normal people do. I can't be the bridge between two warring sides forever. This being the connection between you and FGC is getting too dangerous. I was originally one of FGC's Shanghai staff. I was sent here to help set up this company. But the fact is, FGC Espana doesn't mean anything to me or to the company. Right now, they've got their hands full with what they're doing in Asia. Asia? Yes. This whole thing is just a feint to draw attention away from there. Their Shanghai operation is just a shell, too. Their real business these days is in India. India? You mean the space elevator? You're right on top of things, aren't you? In that case, this won't take long. And there is one more thing the FGC president is interested in. Don't you think they might have taken him there? We would better be sure, though. It might be a trap. There isn't time. What are you going to do? Hmm. For the moment, get going. Check things out for me. Over. Anywhere a girl could get a cold drink. Throw down your weapons. You guys aren't very friendly, and here I was thinking you looked pretty cool. Uh, cut that out. Don't you get really dried out working way out here in a place like this? Um, what are you talking about? Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like? Feel like getting wet? You're lucky. Most guys don't get that far in the first date. Let's get going. Well, negative. The two of them have some things in common, but nothing that really compares. Get rid of her. It won't take a minute. Couldn't you spare my daughter? If she hadn't given us any trouble. <laughs> if you're here, there's probably going to be a bunch of your fellow rats showing up in a minute, too. Don't move! I'm not going to let you get away with this! You're a pretty aggressive rat, aren't you? Phew! You've come for me! Now I can go home! I don't think so, old man. 
she resists, you can kill her. There's another one. All right. The operation's a complete failure. Wilson got away, and the woman with the genes is dead too. And Dr. Zukovsky, he's dead too. The doctor is dead? Yes, Wilson shot him. Oh, you don't know. What? Take Dr. Zukovsky by the ears and pull. What did you say? Just do it, okay? Dr. Zukovsky was born on October the 12th, 1975. Of course, he was 72 feet wide then. All he needs is a doctor to repair him. Amazing! I told you there were a lot of different androids around now, didn't I? He's a mobile supercomputer, that's all. Push the reset button at the base of his nose. Thanks a lot. They won't stop at anything, will they? But you, you're very lucky to still be alive. You're the one they're after. We can't let them get their hands on you. They scanned me in prison. Then they said they had another one so they could kill me. They did, did they? Another one? That must have been that girl. Why do they need me so much? To be precise, it's your genes they need. They need the ability of a diver to control the network. That's something that goes beyond the bounds of our knowledge. There was supposed to be something to unlock that mystery in those ruins, but I... So what FGC wants is PsyD? Complete control. And they need the space elevator for that, too. Why? If they build a space elevator, they can transmit power down the space elevator from the satellites instead of sending it by microwave. If they control the network from the top of the elevator, it becomes very difficult to attack them. The elevator is not only a bridge to outer space, it's an electrical supply lifeline, which means they have both the real world and cyber world in their grasp. We have to stop Wilson. Well, where the hell is he then? job to bring you all in. If you don't try anything funny, no one will get hurt. Give it up. Where have I seen you before? I know. You're the original. What do you mean? Your data was very useful to us. My data? Someone who can actually move in Psy D. That's you. The element that gives you that ability is the Margiana gene. But we still don't know anything about it. We've analyzed the data we got from your body, but we still don't understand its connection to Psy D. And then I had an idea. They're your genetic sisters. We copied the data we got from your genetic analysis, but it didn't work. Not only can they not dive, they aren't even pretty.
is insane. Whoever did this is going down. We've secured the entire plant. Don't try any tricks. Like you said, if no one tries any funny stuff, no one gets hurt. Attention. As per FGC regulations, the self-destruct mechanism is now in effect. This facility will explode in exactly 15 minutes. The destruct procedure cannot be halted without the express consent of FGC President Alan Wilson or a vote of the Board of Directors. So I'm expendable, am I? Damn this company! Your remark in disagreement with company policy has been noted under Article 2601, Paragraph 3 of Company Regulations. Computer, stop the destruct procedure. The destruct order cannot be rescinded without proper authority. Under Article 2601, Paragraph 5 of Company Regulations, you are a judge to be in opposition to company policy, and thus... If you are not inside Saito, you can't open the shield. Dive from that terminal right away. Okay, gotcha. This laboratory is going to blow up, boom, like a fireworks display. That's fine by me. Why don't you just go up to the space elevator? I'm sure Wilson's got a warm welcome planned for you. He'll probably even invite you to the power test transmission party. Not me, though. <laughs> Please do so immediately. This announcement is being recorded and the company will accept no responsibility for any injury or damage caused by failure to heat it. It was impossible to disarm the self-destruct. Quick! There is no time to get out to the beach. Use the escape pod in the basement. Control from the space elevator. I see. What a great idea. I've heard that it'll be a little while before it's finished, though. Yes, it's supposed to be done in 2099. So once it's operating, it'll mean both full-fledged advance into space and a stable supply of electricity. Sounds like a good deal. And guess who's handling all the construction work? FGC. Wait a minute. So if FGC gets the space elevator, what do they want to do? They must be trying to recreate Damnation Monday. It'll be just like a circuit breaker going off. The whole world will go dark for a second, and when the lights come on, the whole worldwide net will belong to FGC. They'll find out about all those women-seeking men sites you love so much. I'm not the one who needs those sites. So I wonder what Wilson's going to do. Once the elevator is finished, everything falls into his hands, and all that's left is a diver. Let's rock! Oh, so you've paid back your debt to us, haven't you? Well, I'm on board. And there's the reward money to consider. Plus, hmm, I like the idea of a spacewalk. Sir, the Marshall Islands plant has been destroyed, and the copies of that woman are- That's enough. Uh, I suppose the only thing to do is to get the original to come here. Is that possible? Possible? Once the first stage of this project is complete, there won't be anybody who can stand in my way. Do you understand that? But those women are more than we bargained for. They may even have found out about this place. You just stick to doing what you're told. Come on. 
Yes, sir. Okay, final check. The only way to get to the space station that they are building is by shuttle. So you have to sneak into a shuttle that's ready to launch. Why do we have to sneak into something that belongs to the enemy? The only space-worthy shuttles are the one that they are using to ferry building materials for the space elevator. By which I mean the one at the FGC Arizona base where you are now. I wonder Five, if a bunch of sexy beauties four, can thumb a ride. Three, two, one, zero, lift off. Hmm, looks like we aren't as type. Don't be stupid. You don't think you would offer us a ride just because we ask him, do you? So, we have to steal a ride. The network security is tight, and there is not much time until we launch. Sneaking into places is what I do. You know that. Okay. Good luck. No. Huh? I never leave anything to luck. You're just going to bust in here and steal a shuttle then? <laughs> How old-fashioned. Sorry, I don't have time to play. Oh, don't be like that, honey. I'm lonely. Let's have a little fun. I'll have to bring a little souvenir with me, but I will be the president's right-hand man again. <laughs> That's a good girl. It'll all be over soon. I'll be here to enjoy the ending with you. That took you long enough. Surely a wimp like Steiner didn't give you much of a fight? What? You mean that poor German sap? 
He was an excellent secretary, but for a cyborg, his functions were distinctly substandard. This one's better looking, too. But not very trustworthy. Huh? It's about time, isn't it? You have your orders about what to do with me, don't you? Surely even an undercover MFP investigator gets bored with play acting sometime. Once I've made sure what your scheme is, I'm going to put you under arrest. Everything you've done has been monitored. What a shame. Nothing anyone's heard is going to mean a damn thing. with the equipment you've got. The one who's left in the end is the smartest. The one who figures out exactly what's going on and responds the most accurately. Get me? So, what do you do if you have a dangerous killer robot around? It's easy. You change the chip. Let's see if your famous automatic calibration can help you now. What the... I'm not the one you're going to shoot. Confession time! I, Alan Wilson, am going to rule the world with the space elevator! Oh dear, the MFP is monitoring my evil scheme! But once I reset the whole world, there won't be any record of my crimes. And all I need now is this girl. So, I'll just have you get her for me. You're useless, aren't you? Dispose of yourself. Please, take over. It's over, isn't it? Not yet. What do you mean? Wilson's put an avatar of himself into the mother computer. A simulated personality program. Even without the original Wilson himself, it'll start operating to achieve his objective. You can't stop his plans unless you destroy it. All right, but what about you? I'll run the navigation program from here. You won't have to fight alone. We don't have much time. Wilson's ghost is running around in the machine. Don't worry. I'll be back in a flash. Hey, today's a nice day for a dive, isn't it? Personnel accessing side D. Evacuate 
Situation. Now the Justice part of the FGC group has information they have still managed to keep hidden. We are informed that it's hidden in their Calcutta office. Your mission is... To dive in and grab it. Correct. We have no way of predicting what kind of avatars you will find inside you. So be careful in there. As always. Good luck. Oh. I promise not to say that any more than one.